Hi, I'm Michael Dunlop and I'm an NLP trainer, Master Practitioner and I'm also the Irish Ambassador for the Association for NLP. And I am hugely honoured and delighted to be a presenter at the NLP International Conference. The topic that I've chosen, with due deference to Bobby Kennedy, is Tiny Ripples of Hope. On the 6th of June 1966, at the University of Cape Town in South Africa, Bobby Kennedy gave what is often considered to be one of the greatest speeches of all time. Speaking to an audience yearning for change and a better future, yet feeling powerless in the face of an enormous oppressive system, Kennedy reminded them that each time we stand up for an ideal or act to improve the lot of others or strike out against injustice, we send forth a tiny ripple of hope and crossing each other from a million different centres of daring and energy, those ripples can build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. While I cannot promise a speech like Kennedy's, in my talk and presentation, what I would like to do is share with you some of my own experience and the experience of others in trying to spread some tiny ripples of hope of our own in Northern Ireland. When I started out, as an NLP practitioner and master practitioner, we had lost our amazing daughter, Orla, to a rare immune condition. And I wanted to change the world. And I thought with the skill set I had available through NLP, I had just the tools to do that. And then I discovered, as many NLP practitioners do, that often the world doesn't particularly want to be changed, at least not in the way that we want or how we think it should be changed. And I'd like to share some of that journey with you. In particular, when I mention NLP, I often find scepticism, sometimes resentment, sometimes hostility in academia, in healthcare, in education. And after a number of bruising experiences, that's when I had to go back to the drawing board and to rethink things. And my experience has been that often it's not the big things that actually make a difference. Often it's the little things done well and with integrity. It's about meeting people where they are. It's about match, pace and then lead. And in my talk, I'd like to share some of that experience with you. I'd also like to introduce you to the work of some amazing people who are spreading their own ripples and making a difference in our society. People like Paddy Cordell, who's doing amazing work in schools in Northern Ireland with the Art of Brilliance and who won the NLP and Education Award in the UK. Leanne McCafferty, who used her own experience and her NLP skills to secure funding from the Big Lottery Fund to develop a fantastic programme called Brilliantly Me, which is promoting positive well-being for people with learning disabilities. It provides an opportunity for strengths to shine, and it sends ripples of positivity throughout their local communities. It helps people to build their confidence, to make positive changes in their lives, and to be their best selves, brilliantly. Lynn McKeown, who works with vets, GPs, dentists, optometrists, and the amazing work that she does in healthcare, which earned her a nomination for the NLP in Healthcare Award. I would also like to share with you some of her own experiences working with the brilliant Chief Executives Forum. They're the umbrella body for chief executives and senior staff of public sector bodies in Northern Ireland. They cover the civil service and its executive agencies, local government and non-departmental bodies. In total, it has some 130 member organisations, which represent hundreds of thousands of stakeholders. The Forum's vision is to contribute to building a better future for all in Northern Ireland. The Forum and its inspirational director, Anne Dixon, recognise the benefits that NLP could offer public sector leaders in areas such as outcome thinking, improved communication and managing their own emotional states in what are often very challenging circumstances. They also recognise that NLP could be used to support the use of outcome-based accountability in implementing the, the Northern Ireland Programme for Government. Their support and vision in adapting, embracing and developing the idea of practical NLP skills and approaches to help key decision makers in the, across the public sector in Northern Ireland has been amazing. Hopefully, in sharing some of those experiences, 
and giving you some practical examples and helping you to put some of those things into practice, we can help to spread some more tiny ripples of hope and make a difference. I hope you can join us and I would love to see you there. Thank you very much.